Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. We are at SHOT Show 2019. I'm here with the guys from Forster Products. We got Bob Ruck and Scott Campbell. Thank you guys for joining me. Sure, thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. So people have seen a lot of Forster gear on the channel. You know, I, I reload with the coax. I use your dies. I love the ultra micrometer cedar dies. I've used the full length size, the bushing bump dies, and so on and so forth. I have a couple more products to show, like the case trimmer and whatnot. I'm sure we'll get to that. But uh, outside of the reloading space that people are familiar with, what other kind of tools do you guys make? Oh, we get into a whole line of gunsmithing tools. Everything from a sight mounting fixture that's a mm -hmm. classic for the, for the industry to headspace gauges. And uh, really, gunsmithing screwdrivers are, are one of our big sellers, too. Nice. And it's all made in the USA? It is. It's all designed in the USA? Designed and <laughs> materials all yep. in the USA, yes. Yeah, and, you know, there's been a lot of talk about coaxial reloading presses lately, and, you know, that's actually been, even outside of recent product announcements, a continuous question. Tell me about this reloading press. Tell me about this single stage and whatnot. And I've had a flood of questions about the coax lately, the Forrester coax, which was originally from a company called the Bonanza. Bonanza. And it was the Fairbow banana cones out. Faribault, Minnesota, where it was designed. Yep. And so tell me a little bit about the coax and kind of what sets it apart. Well, the coax will line up the case and the die. Mm -hmm. And those two critical components can float until you come to the positive stop at the end. So your straight line seating for your seater and your sizing die is, is much straighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you also, it feels like, have quite a bit more leverage than a conventional reloading press. There's a tremendous amount of leverage, yeah, because of the design of the linkage. Yeah, it's kind of a unique design. It's also incredibly smooth. It's a very, it's so smooth, in fact, and it has so much leverage that you guys sell a shorter kit for it. Right, yeah. <laughs> People we found were taking the handle completely off, doing 223 rounds and just holding onto the casting. Yep. That wasn't very comfortable in the long run. So. Yeah, you got to give them a better solution, right? And then... Yeah, like, most importantly with that coax is really just where it's made and how it's made. You know, we have a factory of 20, a little over 20 people, so there's a lot of pride in what they're doing, and um, you know the owner of the factory's wife um, assembles them. So I mean, there's not, there's there's commitment there. There's wanting wanting to make it right and and have it be done well. So yeah, it's U.S. steel, and it's all made in the U.S. Yeah, the castings are from Galena, which is 30 miles from us. Mm -hmm. And it's also a design, so it's an older design. It's been around for a long time, since the 1960s, but it's also something that you're making continual refinements and improvements on. You guys showed me a reinforcement on the casting. You guys have talked about little tweaks that you make to things like the priming system. And is that based on customer feedback? Is it based on internal testing? Both, both. Okay. Customer feedback mainly. Yeah. Because we're, we're listening to them all the time. We pick up the phones at Forster Products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, and that's where you're really not just dealing with a company that's selling equipment, you're dealing with people that understand the problem domain. Like, I know you guys will hone out dies so that based on your specific case neck thickness, you can get just the right neck tension and just the right fit. Yeah, we've got customers who have ordered five or six dies of the same caliber just in thousandth increments so they can fine tune it and just get the right press fit on their bullets. Yep, and then you can full length size, and if you're a bench stressed shooter, you know, that just gives you that much less uh, wear and tear on the brass, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we test most of these new product or new offerings with our pro staff too. That's another thing that sets us aside. A Kelly Bashan, who's a U.S. shooter, shooter, he's on the Palma team, and mm -hmm. um, we've got Dave Logos, who has been a, everything from a Vietnam sniper to a gunsmith for 30 years, wow. and yeah. Yeah, and he owns about 350 die sets, so he's a go-to guy when we've got an oddball caliber and a customer's got a problem. Yeah, uh, it's, it's for some it's 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 a profession, and for others it's a sickness. I don't know. There's something about new rifle cartridges. You know, it's a new problem to conquer. It's a, a new rifle to buy, and and for me, it's just a part of like the lifelong journey that long-range precision shooting is. Which gets into like Stuart L. Elliott, another one of our pro staff, is from Australia. And he's won the World Bench Rest Championship two years. Mm -hmm. And maybe Scott can tell us a little bit about his level of customer service. Some employees. Yeah. Some yeah, I mean, we, we have uh, 
a, a team in the office that's been there a long time. A lot of the ladies in there can answer questions that I couldn't even about reloading. And um, yeah, they, they take it very to heart trying to figure things out for certain customers. And, you know, I think, uh, like you mentioned, we all the different tools we've done, it's slow refinements. It's things that are thought out before we we don't just add a micrometer to something just to make it flashy and look good. It's going to have to have some purpose and going to have to improve actually what the tool does for the customer. Yeah. So, Made by reloaders and gunsmiths for reloaders and gunsmiths. Yeah. You know. Absolutely, and that's, that's something I've really enjoyed doing this year. I just started chambering rifles and doing all the associated machining muzzle, you know, threading my own muzzles and stuff like that. And there's, there's another level of satisfaction and also a level of control that you have, especially my goal this year is to get into some custom reamer geometry where I could say, here's a load that I have. This is the cartridge I want to load to a particular bullet seating depth where I want it to just barely compress the load or something like that. How can I tweak this, this reamer geometry just a little bit and then work with one of the big reamer manufacturers, cut the barrel, and then I have a load and, and you know, maybe do a honed die or something like that where everything is perfect and everything is exactly the way I want it to be. <laughs> yeah, that adds some satisfaction, that's for sure. You, you should have a lot of footage for that. That'll take a lot. <laughs> I'm also a glutton for punishment because, you know, I just think about all the work that goes into one of those builds. And, you know, sometimes I'll spend a whole day just doing all of the machining because I'm looking at prints, you know, I'm making sure that I'm all of the dimensions and tolerances, you know, the clearances that you have as the rifle's heating up and cooling down, all of that takes so much care. And when you go to cut that chamber, when you cut that tin and do your threading, it all has to be exactly right on. And I think that's what's so satisfying about it. Yeah, your techniques all the way back to your measurement instruments. Like Forster is an ISO certified shop, which is a quality certification, which is an international certification. And we're very proud of that too, because it goes, what it really does is brings the responsibility right down to the machinist level. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it does. Everybody's responsible for their own work, for their own holding the print tolerances. And that's really helped us over the last 10 or 12 years that we've been ISO certified. Nice, love it. So here's a question for you. You showed me some new stuff. I saw some inspection tools. Tell me about new products for 2019. Yeah, you know, we we didn't do a lot of brand new stuff in 2019, um, partially because we want to try to keep up and supply what we've been doing. Um, so we've we did add like these quick change jaws um, to to the or the coax or the yeah. coax press. Yep. Um, we added another hole for the case trimmer to make it out of the box a little more accommodating. You always had to get something extra for nine millimeter, and you don't have to do that anymore. Um, but we've made some things that I think are undervalued, like the datum dial and measuring datum point to shoulder to base and ogive to base in a really compact it's kind of critical well for critical for sizing uh, everybody who's sizing and wanting to put bump the shoulder back yep. just those couple of thousands needs to have something like that yes sir for some folks it's a thousandth and a half or a thousandth and and that's a pretty small number you know so you have to be pretty careful about your measurement methods and make sure that you're right on the datum and what I liked about the tool the datum dial is it looks like the quality of that anodized aluminum on on the dial itself is really robust and when, and you're talking, when you're talking making something custom to your rifle you need something to measure how you're doing relative to what your rifle is and that's what that tool gives you the ability to do so love it and i'll i'll be showing those tools on the channel in some hands-on videos and totally looking forward to it <laughs> <laughs> So thank you guys. Uh, I, I really enjoy working with you. I really enjoy working with your products. And I'm going to be doing this crazy, insane, single stage reloading press lineup. The coax will be in it. It'll be really fun to put it up next to a lot of the other things that are on the market and compare all the features and that kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, I got a lot more SHOT Show 2019 content coming up. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much. And I really hope that you guys have a great year. Thank you. <laughs>